The gap between old money and new money has never been more important in a world where fortunes are generated and destroyed at dizzying speed. These two sorts of riches are opposed like comparing a great literature to a popular meme. Let's go into the interesting world of old money versus new money and discover 10 major differences that distinguish them. So, let's dive in. 10. Quantity versus Quality The slogan of old money? Buy less and pick wisely. The emphasis is primarily weighted towards quality. Consider the Hermes Birkin bag, a hallmark of exquisite elegance, or a pair of Church's Oxford shoes, which are precisely manufactured and built to last. Even for those on a tight budget, quality does not have to suffer. Consider a pair of Cole Haan leather loafers, which provide durability and style without breaking the bank. In contrast, new money is frequently about having more. The goal is to not just stay up with trends, but to have an excess of them. In a new money wardrobe, it's not uncommon to find a collection of supreme brand sweatshirts or a sea of Yeezy trainers in various colors. Likewise, brands ASOS, for example, cater to this mentality with their range of graphic shirts, allowing the user to flaunt a different design every day. So, whether it's quality that whispers or quantity that yells, your decision reflects your personality and worldview. 9. Neutral versus Vibrant Colors The fight between neutral beauty and vibrant explode in the world of fashion is a silent battle of old money versus new money. Those with vast pockets and a penchant for the classics frequently find refuge in the ageless attraction of neutral and basic colors. Imagine someone with old money walking confidently down the street in a beige trench coat, classy, understated, and adaptable. A design decision that never goes out of style and promises years of wear. On the other hand, the new money crowd prefers a bright and vivid palette that commands attention. Their fashion statement is more than simply apparel. It's a bright expression of personality. Consider neon bomber jackets that scream vitality and flashiness, a sign of the desire to stand out in a world of ever-changing trends. It's not just about what you wear in this sartorial competition. It's about the tale your clothing convey about your road to success. 8. Subtlety and Flashiness Subtlety and flashiness compete silently in the world of money and elegance, especially in the domain of old money. The aim here is to embrace a calm refinement reminiscent of a classic Rolex free of flashy diamonds or the subtle shine of Tiffany's jewelry. Those who follow this fashion concept prefer to keep their wealth to themselves rather than flaunting it openly. The basic yet polished leather fossil watch is a perfect example for fans of the frugal style. It encapsulates subtle elegance without breaking the wallet. New Money, on the other hand, seeks to attract attention. A Felipe watch adorned with enough diamonds to match a disco ball or attention-demanding Balenciaga trainers are examples of high-end displays. Even at a lower price point, the emotion stays the same. Consider the Michael K. logo tote bag, which is shamelessly eye-catching. In sharp contrast, old money stylists might recommend a designer t-shirt without the brand name displayed, rather than the bolder choice of a Gucci or Versace shirt with the brand proudly written over. 7. Tailored Fit versus Oversized Fit The wardrobe of old money is dominated by traditional tailored suits from Europe's finest tailors, keeping a timeless sense of high-class fashion. The Rockefellers and Vanderbilts were famed for their exquisite taste, epitomizing old money elegance. Meanwhile, the new money wears hoodies and trainers like they're out of fashion. It reflects their more relaxed social perspective, in which money and high-class dress aren't always synonymous. Their wardrobe choices represent the changing style of new money. Now hold on for a second, my friend. If you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more discerning thoughts on style. 6. Minimalism versus Maximalism Minimalism squares off against maximalism in the clash of styles. People with old money favor simplicity and cleanliness, believing that less is more. 
they adore the simplicity of a simple gown, enjoying its uncomplicated beauty that allows each feature to shine without overloading the senses. Now, on the other hand, the new money crowd believes that more is, well, more. Their look is a riot of strong patterns and bright colors, like a garment screaming for attention. It's a celebration of life a vivacious embracing of every imaginable style, a stark contrast to their old money rival's restrained elegance. Maximalism roars while minimalism whispers, both representing a unique approach to life via the prism of personal style. 5. Heritage and Trendy Brands Old Money's Legacy and New Money's Trendiness the emphasis in the world of old money is on the timeless, with stylistic choices that reflect a lifetime commitment rather than passing trends. The timeless beauty of a Chanel tweed jacket or the renowned Burberry trench coat, both of which are British wardrobe staples. Even on a tighter budget, the iconic Levi's 501 jeans radiate easy flair that will last a lifetime. On the other hand, new money promotes a dynamic movement towards the trendy and current. Fashion choices in this city pulse to the beat of current trends, which change with the seasons. Fashion becomes a distinct statement of one's financial past and the ever-changing present in this conflict of legacy and trend. 4. Timeless versus Statement Accessories in traditional money circles are often seen as the final touch, adding subtle yet essential elements to the overall ensemble. For instance, a simple Van CLE and Arel Alhambra necklace, an understated Tiffany tea bracelet, or a minimalist Daniel Wellington watch all exude elegance without being overly expensive. On the other hand, New Money perceives accessories as an opportunity to make a bold statement. Pieces like bold Versace Medusa necklaces, prominent Alexander McQueen skull scarves, and oversized hoop earrings from BBL Bar are designed to capture attention and spark conversations. This sentiment is also embraced by affordable fashion, where accessories are bold, playful, and unafraid to be noticed. 3. Natural and Synthetic Fiber the battle between old money comfort and new money durability is playing out in the textile world, where natural and synthetic fibers compete for supremacy. Cotton, the epitome of natural materials, exudes timeless elegance with its strength, absorbency, and hypoallergenic characteristics, creating a soft and breezy feel appropriate for daily products. Meanwhile, synthetic textiles, led by polyester, symbolize new money durability, with remarkable strength, shrink resistance, and a moisture-repelling tendency that meets the needs of modern sportswear. Polyester, often associated with colorful 1970s suits, is now a high-quality, versatile material with brilliant, long-lasting colors due to technical developments. The fabric decision between old money comfort and new money toughness becomes a personal one, combining tradition with the demands of today's fast-paced lifestyle. 2. Discreet and Visible Logos The new money fashionistas openly display their wealth by wearing apparel and accessories adorned with identifiable designer logos. It's a visible proclamation of their capacity to splurge on beautiful high-end products. Old money people, on the other hand, emanate a distinct elegance, choosing for more subtle, timeless clothes. Their fashion selections prioritize workmanship and quality, expressing a penchant for enduring style above outward shows of riches. The conflict between apparent branding and refined delicacy reveals a fascinating story of social identification through clothes in this sartorial paradox. 1. Classic Shoes versus Trendy Sneakers The world of fashion frequently creates a clear distinction between traditional shoes and modern trainers, symbolizing a divide between those with old money and those with new money. Old money people choose timeless classics, like loafers and leather boots, which exude a lasting and elegant appeal. 
Individuals with fresh money, on the other hand, are drawn to the attraction of contemporary trainers, such as off-white or Yeezy shoes, which demonstrate a current and dynamic sense of style. The choice of footwear has a significant influence on the entire appearance and mood of an outfit, making it an essential aspect in personal fashion. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Hit the subscribe button now and share your thoughts about the old money and new money styles in the comment below. Thanks for watching.